All right, guys, I'm Matt Driver with ProAnglerRadio.com, and we're out here on the farm pond today to try to catch some fish on the fly. Right here, we've got a chartreuse colored red rooster floating fly. We've got our floating fly set up. I've got my eight and a half foot St. Croix floating fly rod. What I've done is I've got a <clears throat> about a three to four foot long leader. This lake is about six feet deep, maybe in this area, what I'm doing, there he is. Got him, feels like a good one too. Oh, it's big, it's big. Oh yeah, real nice. Right there, folks. Farm pond fishing with a float fly. Large mouth will bite it. About a three to four pound fish right here. Now what I've got here is eight and a half one foot long St. Croix float fly rod. And I'm using a chartreuse in color, red rooster floating fly. And uh, as you can see here, this technique definitely works wherever you want to use it. There it is, folks. You're looking at a good, solid fish out of a farm pond. And if you'll notice, right in this fish's mouth is a chartreuse color red rooster floating fly with just a little bit of copper in it. Like I said, we're gonna try to catch a few more. This was our very first cast of the day. And like I said, not a bad fish. I'll tell you a little bit about, more about this. This fish is actually, the leader is a, is a Sunline uh, seven pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, the lake is pretty clear right now. And of course I like to use that, uh, the fluorocarbon because it has less visibility in clear water. So let's go ahead and put this chunker back and we'll get back to you in just a minute. Every now and then just give this a little bit of a tug. I've gotten roughly a three to four foot leader on this uh, float fly here. And uh, really what we're trying to do is just try not to move it that much. Just every now and then shake it a little bit. And the area that we're fishing here, there's another one. The area we're fishing is a, a pond dam area. The water is pretty, pretty deep right here. I'd say six foot deep or so. And uh, these fish are just stacked in here. Oh wow, big crappy, big crappy. And you see, this is what I'm talking about. This is something that the kids can do. We're talking right now, uh, today's January the 27th and uh, we're out here, it's probably in the 40s, high 40s today. Water temps are extremely cold. This technique will work. You'll be able to get out and catch more fish. And like I said, look, we've got the chartreuse colored red rooster fly right in that fish's mouth. This is a very good size crappie, good eating size. This technique is not only, like I said, not only to catch bass, but it catches crappie, it catches large mouth, small mouth, spotted bass, and everything else that you'd like to catch. But we're going to throw this guy back and try to catch us another one.